let's have a look at parallel vectors. Under this case one, parallel vectors, we are going to have two different cases. Cases A and B. Under case A, the, two, the parallel vectors are acting in the same direction, as you can see in the diagram. So since they all are acting in the same direction, the resultant will be the straight addition of the three. A plus B plus C. That is all. The reason is what I wrote here. Parallel and same direction. But let's have a look at this one. They are still parallel because the arrows are parallel to each to one another. But the point now is A and B are acting towards the right. C and D are acting towards the left. So what do we do in this case? We will assign positive to the one, any one you like, but it's always better you follow general idea. Assign positive to the ones facing right. Why you assign negative to the one facing left? Then you now add them together the way you added this. So which you are going to see now. That means this will be positive A, positive B, negative C, negative D. So let's now add together to find the resultant. So, we have added them together, plus A, plus, plus B, plus, minus C, plus, minus D. Don't forget, the minus here shows that they are facing left direction. The positive here shows that they are facing right direction. So, by the time plus and minus will give you minus, plus and minus will give you minus. So, it now becomes A plus B minus C minus D. Whatever you get from this is the resultant. Now, looking at the example, under question 1, we add the two together because both of them, the arrows are facing right direction. Both of them are facing, so that's positive, positive. So, that's why we got 15 for number 1. For number 2, 10 Newton is facing right, which is positive 10. 5 Newton is facing left, which is negative 5. So, that will be plus and minus will now give us minus. So 10 minus 5, positive 5. So that positive 5 means the direction of the body is towards the right because positive is for rightward direction. Number 3, 2 Newton and 3 Newton are positive positive because both of them are facing right. That's why you put positive here. Why this 9 Newton is the only one facing left? That's why I put negative here. But when you add them together, plus times minus will give you minus. So plus 2 plus 3, that's plus 5. Plus 5 minus 9, minus 4. So that negative is showing us that the direction of this body is towards the left because negative is for the left for direction. So in the next class, we are going to look at another case.